Yo, what up guys? It's your boy CB Squared here with Mad Coasters Inc. Today we're peeping out the latest and greatest in coaster development. This newest bad boy packs some major velocities, some epic energies, and the tastiest flavors. I am of course talking about the Double Dipper. Now, to understand why such a bombastic name fits the profile of this coaster, we're gonna need to delve in to the history of the Double Dipper. Now the history of the Double Dip goes back many years, and it can be first traced back to the fabled George Costanza, bless his name. Now, he was the first ever mortal being to discover the infamous Double Dip. We were so inspired by the double dip that we decided to take the challenge and create the world's first ever chip and dip themed roller coaster. Now we go to the head research and development specialist behind the scenes to find out more about this incredible build. Hey y'all, this is your boy P. Diddy from Research and Development. Now y'all probably wondering how I got this job, but the Lord knows it was because of my fruity personality. I've heard it's quite appealing. Now I'm going to hand you off to our lead specialist. Hello, I am Dr. Hannah Hansen, and I am way too qualified for this mediocre job. I will now walk through the math and physics behind the Double Dipper. The coaster starts off with a mildly steep incline to a maximum height of 74.4 meters. Then it'll go down to our first point of uh, zero meters, which will be our absolute minimum. Then it'll go back up, and at this point you might, might think, oh man, the fun is over, but you get to experience it all again. Then at this point, you'll be at uh, 40.8 meters. Then it'll go back down to zero which will then bring you up to 51.8 meters, and that concludes our ride back down to 37.4 meters. So, this is how you get the velocity. You can take kinetic energy equals gravitational potential energy, because there's no energy lost with friction or air resistance. And then you can get down to um, uh, 1 half mv squared equals mgh, which you can cancel out the m's, and then you get one half v squared equals g times change in h, and you get v squared equals 2g delta h. Then you finally, for the velocity equation, you get velocity equals the square root of 2g delta h. But now we can change delta h, y'all. So delta H is 74.4 minus Y because that's the change in height from the very absolute max down to whatever point you're calculating for. So the final equation is V equals square root of 2G times 74.4 minus Y. Now y'all probably think I know all this stuff, but the truth is it was just in the script. <laughs> wow, that's bananas. So we'll start off at approximately zero meters per second. Of course, we're going to need to push. That's not a lot of speed. A lot less speed than I had this weekend. What up? Then we're going to accelerate up to 38.21 meters per second at the CP. That's what we like to call the cheesy point. The dip's sharper than cheddar. When you hit that point, y'all's going to be dipping. Am I right? Then you will go up and uh, decelerate down to 25.68 meters per second. And then you're going to accelerate again and uh, hit uh, 38.21 meters per second. Cheesy point. Then you're going to uh, go back down to uh, 21.05 meters per second. And uh, then you'll uh, conclude the ride with uh, 26.96 meters per second. Now I'm going to walk you through the calculation of the fun factor. 
So as we discussed earlier, this is our equation for velocity. So we, just, uh, we found out that the fun factor is um, the uh, change in velocity over the change in height. Uh, so we had to apply the operator. Um, and then we uh, found the derivative, and we found that that was equal to 1 half times 1 point, I mean 148.8 g minus 2 g y to the 1 half power times 2 g. Um, and through some simple algebra, we could uh, cancel out the twos and got a final answer of um, g over the square root of 148.8 g minus 2 g y. Now Peter over here is going to take you through the fun factors. Sup y'all? We're going to go over the fun factor. There's a lot of numbers. Alright, so the POI, also known as point of insanity. It is 0 0.301, and that is true for all the points of insanity. Now, the CPs, or cheesy point, ah, uh, you know it, it's 0 0.257, and that's true for both of these, where y'all are going to be dipping, uh-huh. Now, the um, uh, maximum up here, is 0.382 and the other maximum right before the end of the ride is 0.466 and as you go on to the flat ramp where you're going to be getting on and getting off it is 0.364 that's right here we're going to talk about the amount of work it takes to pull the car up full of a bunch of people now the equation is W equals mg delta h. And if we know that the uh, car weighs 800 kilograms, including all the people in it, then we can plug in the rest and we get 2,903.76 kilojoules. And that's how much energy it takes to pull it up here. Hey, uh, CB squared, uh, what time is it? Hey, you know it's 420, dog. Oh, uh, I have a uh, job interview, yeah. Thanks to our guys in R&D for giving us the nitty gritty of this epic new ride. There's no doubt that this new coaster packs some of the maddest grooves in the world. That is why they call us Mad Coasters. We use the most advanced technology, the most procured engineering strategies, and state-of-the-art software to create the game-changing coaster that is the Double Dipper. We have already taken the first steps in production of this lit ride. We have poured tens of dollars into giving and producing the, most, the first ever conceptual model of this coaster. And that concludes our overview of the new Double Dipper from Mad Coasters. We hope to be seeing a Double Dipper in a Six Flags near you sometime soon. Peace. Then we will accelerate down to, um, or up to, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can just We're that out. To delve in to the history of Mad Coast Oh shit. I can't, I can't do it. This goes bad for what? Packs. I am course. Oh damn it. I missed a line. How do I miss a line? I just. Absolute, oh crap. <laughs> <laughs>